It is September 17, 2.58 a.m. When I say I keep trying to, to go back to sleep, it's not working. <laughs> it is not working. So, I'm up. I was planning to get up at 5 anyway, but today I'm switching it. Instead of running, I'm going to go to my first 5 a.m. class. So, I guess I'm about to make my time useful and clean up and do some stuff until it's time to go okay day 16 let's go get ready and I'm about to go yesterday I had planned waking up early not this early but I planned up waking up early and have you ever been waking up at like 2 3 a.m. and you're like okay God is trying to get my attention or like I don't know what's going on or whatever the case and then you go straight back to sleep because you're like uh-uh or you sit there until you go go back to sleep or you get on an app or something that's usually what I do, but I said, mm -mm. if you saw yesterday's video, you already know. When I allow myself to waste time, I choose to waste time. So I said, I'm not even gonna allow myself. I sat there, I tried to go back to sleep, it didn't work. I said, let me get up and get started early on the gift that God has given me of this day. And look at y'all, my room clean, the kitchen, look, look at this. Look at the moon, y'all. It is shining bright like a diamond. Oh, people is up and at it. I've never been here this early. Change has come.
bit of headache coming meaning I need to eat before I go run, which I don't like to do that. Maybe if I do my infused water or if I do a smoothie, it can be like something light on my stomach. I don't know. Cause I'm going running later today around nine. Hmm. But the good news is I burned 390 calories. I don't know if you're supposed to do total or active. I always do active. So 390 calories burned for breakfast. I don't wake up and eat breakfast. I wake up and burn fat for breakfast. I burn calories for breakfast. I don't consume them. Come on, somebody. Y'all, I'm about to be looking good. If you saw yesterday's video and you saw my inspiration pictures, oh, I'm about to be. This fat left around my belly and the fat built up around my quads and my muscle. Mm -mm. I'm excited now. I was already excited. Like I'm past, I'm supposed to be, I think still in Deuteronomy, y'all, I'm in Joshua. I was cleaning this morning, listening to the word. I've been driving, I'm about to put it on right after I get off this video. This is such a beautiful day. All before the kids have to go to school. Come on, come on. Where there's a will, there's a way, we can do it. Why can't you do this in your room? I'm not doing this in your room. You don't have to bring I mean, well, uh, it's still gonna burn in my room, just it's gonna start with my room. Come on, guys. Come on, put that ball down. Do a little foot. Do a little cold. A cold. Is it cold? The high is low. Are you sure? Uh, yes. How did you find that out? The high is 90. Let me find out. I need to put on the jacket. Right? Right? I ought to feel some water. Oh. I was like, oh, whoa. Like, whoa. Yeah. 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 Noticing the chill, like, uh, uh, 90 oh. degrees in Arizona. Oh. I am about to put on my socks, my boots, <laughs> like. I'm a little baby. Yeah, let me get the babies a jacket. It's kind of chilly, guys. Right. Oh. You're cold. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, let me get you a sweater, baby. It's going to be Stop. chilly and AZ. <laughs> oh, oh. back home. It's burning. Oh. Okay, I'm going to get your jacket. Oh, you're cold, too? <laughs> okay, come on, Leah. I'm done. Yes, sir. You look great. Come on, buddy. Come on. Like Come on. Oh, Mama, we still what? Say that. I want to be like Junior. You want your hair like Junior? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it would take a while to comb this out, and Mama ain't doing that. <laughs> but I can do it later. Come over here, please, sir. You also cry when I comb your hair too much. So, I, I. Uh, uh, Lena, you're overdoing it now. You open the door, oh, it feels so good, that nice chilly breeze. May you please not throw balls in this house? Please, okay? That's not what the house is for. Come on, somebody. Y'all, why did I put sweaters on them for real? Might have to get y'all some snow boots. No boots. No boots for the door? Uh-huh. Why? Because it's, it's winter in Arizona, child. It's 90 degrees. I am here, darling. At the park, I have my water in hand, darling. I made the pineapple, ginger, and cucumber infused water today. I'm at the track, so let's do this. This is Melissa. She is a running track star of the world. <laughs> and tell me why I've been doing run a lap, walk a lap, run two laps, walk two, you know, to keep my endurance. Well, 
She. Tell the people, girl, what you're supposed to do. So, um, I recommend to track your heart rate on your watch. Um, so for everybody, it's gonna be different. It just depends on your age, your weight, your height. But uh, for the most part. Um, you have to stay between zone one and zone three. Never go any higher than zone three. And this is how it's going to help you build your endurance and stay running fast um, lot for a longer period of time. You should be able to talk through, like right mm -hmm. now, I'm choking up. So I need to slow so it down. <laughs> yeah, I need to slow it down. Um, so yeah, if you're able to talk through it, um, th that's a good pace. And I know it might feel like you're basically almost walking. Yeah. <laughs> But trust me, it's going to get better and better, and you'll be able to run for a longer period of time. Yeah, so I was building my endurance the wrong way. You live and you learn every single day. And I've been showing you guys through my workouts, zone one, two, and three at the gym. But when you're on the track, you go and you swipe up, and it's going to show you what zone you're in. So now, we've just been running our little hearts away, talking. And I don't even know what lap we're on. So, like, I just wanted to share that with you as I learn. And, yeah, give them some encouragement, girl. I mean, I know you might feel like you're not a runner. And um, that would never be me. I, w I said that last year. I said, I hate running. I hate running. There's no way. There's no way. But the love that I have built for running just mostly for my mind and my mental health it's been incredible um i know i don't have to be the fastest or um complete a marathon but as long as you're out there and you're trying and if you do have to walk at some point then so be it but just keep going out there and keep doing it then come on somebody <laughs> you got this Woo! Y'all, woo, I need to start bringing a hat. We done ran an hour, 25 minutes. Wow. I have never ran consistently like that ever, ever. That was the best run ever. The best run ever. I can't feel my feet and my knees is a little, but other than that, and it's so beautiful to hear what God is doing in other people's lives and how much you relate to the seasons that you're in in life. This is why we need community, y'all. Community is such a beautiful thing because God is only going to bless you through another person. And whew, And if you're a loner, because I, even though I am like, I will love you down. I am a loner like I have a lot of kids I have a husband like my life is going so much that I'm totally comfortable with being alone so if you're a loner I get it but girl you got to get around some women you got to get around some women of God because the way that God will bless you through somebody else is just so beautiful it's so beautiful I'm just blown away y'all this is my second day waking up before the kids doing what i need to do and i don't have a regret in my body um i just feel so good i'm so energized i got my water i've been waiting on you Ooh, ooh. i need a little water bottle in my vest like she had because this is my first time drinking in an hour and 25 minutes <laughs> but anyways i'm about to go edit this video i think i gotta go to the store I gotta, oh, I gotta get some gas. Well, actually, let me not complain. Lord, thank you for the opportunity to pay for gas in my car. Thank you, Lord, for getting us to and from. Thank you, Lord. Y'all, God is so good. He, he is really transforming my life.
All right, y'all. So let's get into this nutrition and praise the Lord. I meal prepped yesterday because I have a saying on my 75 hardboard. It says, fail to prepare, prepare to fail. And that is so true because the way I was feeling when I got home, a bag of Takis would have did it for me. Anyways, okay, so this is a, a Tech City scale or something like that. How about I got this a long time ago and God prepares us for what we need because every single fat, protein, complex carb I need to know and because I'm being disciplined because honestly I hate doing this but because I really want to hone in on this I weighed every single thing I was eating y'all every single thing and now looking at it I understand why when people are trying to focus on muscle growth to get rid of their fat, why they eat so many carbs. Because this whole meal, like I was just adding stuff at this point, like a banana, because I was like, okay, I don't even have a lot of calories in this meal, and this is a lot of food. But in total, all of this came out to 800 something calories, and now it is 6.08, and I'm editing finishing touches before I put it away and I'm heating up some potatoes right now I'm trying to do anything I can to reach my goal of my calories so this is exciting this is brand new I really like this um, method that I'm doing right now it's a lot more work but it's worth it and I know it's gonna pay off because I'm gonna know down to the nick and cranny what I have put into my body a lot of times I'm telling you right now I have meal prepped and guesstimated my calories and been way off. So I'm, I'm, I'm for real, y'all. I'm serious this time around. Week 16 is not time to play, girl, not week 16. Day 16, I'm not playing with myself. Let's do this. You got this. We got this. Let's go.